A number of Malaysians who were visiting Japan when the country was hit by twin earthquake and tsunami disasters on Friday were glad that they have been able to return home. Bernama Editor-in-Chief Dato Yong Soo Hyong was among the first group of Malaysians to fly out of Japan since the disaster struck. The group arrived at the Kuala Lumpur International Airport here at 4.15pm on Sunday on board Malaysian Airlines flight from Narita Airport, Tokyo. Besides Yong, who was in Tokyo on an assignment, the group also included 13 engineering students from the Skudai campus of University Technology Malaysia and their lecturer who made a study trip. Yong says he's glad to return home and express his amazement at the level of discipline shown by the Japanese despite the horrendous disasters. The thing, the thing that we can learn from this, the, Jap the Japanese are very disciplined in the sense that after the, after the uh, disaster, the people in Tokyo were very disciplined. They were queuing up for buses, they were queuing up for taxis and all that. Uh. So uh, this is one thing that we should learn. There, were no, there, there was no panic because probably they have these regular drills and all that. Uh. So but walking past uh, buildings that were half constructed, constructed were very scary because there were still these aftershocks. Yes, of course, you, you, at that time you can't do much, you know, because uh, you're just hoping that God will save your life. Uh, you're hoping that things do not get worse because even they themselves, you know, the, the, the Japanese themselves are lost for an answer because uh, a quake of this magnitude hadn't struck them before. This is the biggest quake in 100 years. For Puvanis Varinanjapa, the experience shook her. This is Tokyo, and we are in the ninth floor. Suddenly, uh, the meeting was almost finishing, and when, it about, when we were about to give the souvenir, then suddenly the entire building was like, you know, moving. And I told my colleague, basically, he was talking to the client and said, Rama, something is happening. So he said, he just kept quiet and he continued with the uh, conversation, and then it got worse. The wall was moving. The table was shaking, the books were falling off, and apparently he said that the TV was moving towards me, but he didn't want to tell me because he was afraid that you no, know, I, I get panic and then I will start shouting or something like that. But apparently it, oh, it stopped after that, and then we were asked to go down. We wanted to take a cab to go back to our hotel, but the subway were down, everything was down totally, and uh, traffic was really bad. We were like uh, two hours in the taxi and we did not reach our destination yet so what we told the taxi driver stop we'll walk towards the hotel then when we reached the hotel we still felt the vibration so what, what we thought is just pack and go down to the lobby and get a cab straight go to the airport yes 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 we are really happy to be back home seriously her business partner rama krishna damondaran says it was an eye-opening experience and not to take earthquake lightly but this will not stop him from going back to japan we were given mineral water and uh, some biscuits to eat at the airport. That's it. We were there for three days and uh, with no shower. Since since Friday, since Friday. So Friday we arrived uh, Saturday morning, literally. Yeah, I, I suppose give another talk in September. No, no, no. The earthquake was nothing. I mean, I, I, for me, I, that was a bit exciting. First time I'm um, feeling the earthquake. That's so I don't feel that as a problem. But the aftermath was a bit difficult. A lot of uh, aftershocks, of course the reactor issue, uh, the reactor, one of the reactors totally collapsed, at least the building. So the, they, they were reports that uh, radiations are, this, some residents are being exposed to. So they, the Japanese, they, 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 apparently they were, uh, the, 20, the Japanese government has evacuated people from the 20 kilometers radius around the reactor. But uh, I was talking to a person uh, who is uh, researching on this particular issue. He said that you have to exp uh, people around 150 kilometers radius will be exposed. And Tokyo was about 170 kilometers from the epicenter. A group of Japanese tourists were also seen at the arrival hall, but were reluctant to speak when approached.